Hello, Sarian here, PT Skills. This bite-sized video is on energy systems and we're going to look at ATP, which is adenosine triphosphate. So I'm just gonna share my screen as always. If you wanna get that pen and paper ready and there will be a task at the end. So ATP, adenosine triphosphate and energy release. So basically adenosine triphosphate is our energy currency within the body. So without ATP, we cannot create energy. So adenosine triphosphate is literally adenosine with three phosphates attached to it. So when uh, we chemically release energy, one of the phosphates breaks off and that gives us the energy. So we are then left with adenosine and two phosphates. So adenosine diphosphate. So then what we need to do is we need to resynthesize the phosphate that we've lost to create ATP again so that we can continue with the energy cycle. So hopefully I'll, I will go onto my old trusty flip chart in a mo, and we'll go over that in a little bit more detail as well. So ATP, we need to resynthesize re it. So uh, there's limited stores of it within our muscles. So approximately one to two seconds worth of supply within our muscles. So therefore we have to, it has to be resynthesized. So basically we need to make it. So we can resynthesize it, and that's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it, <laughs> in itself, uh, in three ways. So we can utilize creatine phosphate. So the creatine phosphate system, the glycogen uh, lactate system, or the aerobic energy system. So there's three systems in which we can resynthesize. Uh, so I'm gonna go over them in separate videos because this video is literally about ATP. So before I go onto your task, I'm gonna stop share and go into my flip chart and just write that out in a little bit of a different way because I know some of you learn by listening and some of you might just want to watch me and my really bad drawings. Okay, here we go. So we have ATP uh, in its full written way. It's adenosine triphosphate. So tri, we know means three. So it's adenosine and it's three phosphate molecules. So one, two, three phosphates. So when uh, we release energy, one of these phosphates breaks off, uh, which gives us energy. Yeah. So then we're left with adenosine diphosphate, adenosine and double phosphate. Yeah, so I'm gonna write that down here so you can see adenosine diphosphate, so two basically. So what we need to do, so we can resynthesize ATP and my dog is barking, which is great. Stanley, so you let's start having children, except I've got chihuahuas. So we need to resynthesize this other, this other phosphate. So we need to add another phosphate on the end so we can recreate ATP so we can recreate that energy process again. So adenosine dry, diphosphate, triphosphate, three phosphates, one breaks off, which gives us the energy in that chemical reaction, and we're left with adenosine diphosphate. Then we need to add another phosphate to recreate ATP, which is our energy currency within the body. And there's three ways to do that, which we are going to look at in subsequent videos. So I'm just gonna come back to my laptop to give you a task. Hopefully Stanley will not bark anymore. Let me come back to my video and back to my screen share. Okay. So your task now is I want you to, pretty, pretty similar to what I've drawn, draw a flow chart of how ATP releases energy. So start with the adenosine triphosphate, how it releases energy, uh, ADP, so you've got adenosine diphosphate, and then how and what you need to do to recreate ATP. So you've got a little flow diagram of ATP. Try and use the big words as well. So, so write out the full description rather than just the um, shortened three letters, uh, just so that you start to learn the technical terms. 
Uh, and then I want you to list the three ways in which it can be resynthesized. So those three energy paths in which it can be resynthesized, which was on the previous slide. So try and so go back through, read it, watch it, and then try and memorize it and then write it down from memory. Any questions, then uh, just pop in the box below um, in the chat just to see if you have any questions, uh, any pictures that you draw, I'd love to see them as well. Let us know how you get on and I'll see you in the next video.